Oh, for God's sake, Mom, you started again with all this talk of marriage. Oh, you know, shut up, I'm still talking. Where did I go wrong in raising you? Where? At 36, no child, no wife, nothing. I'm not ready, Mom. I'm not ready. You are not ready to be a husband, I'm ready to be a grandmother. All my friends are grandmothers. Eh? Obina, do you want to close your father's lineage? You are our only son. Our only child for crying out loud. For God's sake, mom, nothing is going to happen to dad's lineage. I'm a man. This we don't work with time. Anytime I decide to get married, it's still okay. I can still have a child. I can have a child at 40. I can have at 60. I can even have at 80. Stop! Stop! You have got it all wrong. So you don't want to want me to carry my grandchildren. Where have I come wrong in raising you? Oh my Please, God! Mom, can you just stop crying? What have I done to this office? Hi! Come in now! So I cannot carry my grandchildren! Come in now! Oh God! If your father were to be alive, all these things would be happening! Come in now! Where did I go wrong? Come in now! Where did I go wrong? I'm raising you! Just stop crying, please. You can't my grandchildren. You carry your children, stop crying now. Hello? Oh, Uncle Fred. Yes, good afternoon. How are you, sir? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine, sir. Yeah, every work is well. Okay. I'm listening, Uncle. What? Please, okay, I'm coming there right now. I'm coming. Uncle Fred, Mama's condition looks quite critical. Yes, it is. I must admit. She was brought in here unconscious by your house help, Mercy. Um, it's not a good news. We've been able to run a series of tests and the results indicate she has... I don't want you to be apprehensive, okay? She has cirrhosis of the liver and tuberculosis, which is already in its second stage. How is this possible, doctor? I'm surprised. I must admit, I'm surprised. Does she have a history of hepatitis and alcoholism? No. First time I'm hearing this. Even though sometimes I, I see she coughs. Coughs? Yes. Persistently? Persistently. <sighs> Nurse Jane, the man in what for? She will be discharged today, okay? Okay, sir. I've told the accountant to make sure he's owing no money. Huh? Good. Thank you. So, like I said, the condition is a fatal one. She needs our prayers. She needs care. She needs love and affection. That's all we owe her at the moment. Okay? Okay. There is nothing to be apprehensive about. Take it easy. Huh? Thank you, Doctor. Get her something to eat. I'll just ask her what to eat. All right. Don't 
Sorry, Mom. Sorry. Sir. <coughs> Sorry. What did the doctor say? <coughs> he said you have cirrhosis of the liver and tuberculosis in stage 2 but he said he's going to do all his best to, to make sure you, you, you recover fully from it and by God's grace I believe you will get better okay please stop crying I need, I need you to be strong because you need all your strength to fight this and become better I'm sorry you I need you sorry <laughs> Sorry. Most of it can go. Mercy. Yes, sir. Please, when you drop that bag, start making something for Mama to eat. Okay, eh? sir. Okay. All right. Just gently. Don't. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Just one step at a time. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Sorry, sorry, Mama. Sorry. Just sit in your favorite chair. Hmm? It's okay. So you can lay down anytime you want to rest. Easy. Man. Do you want to lie down? <coughs> sorry. sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Mama, I'm coming. Let me go and make sure that she cooks something good for you. Okay. okay. Thank you. Still coughing. Sorry, sorry. Hey, hey your body is hot. Too. I'll be fine. But I thought the drugs Uncle Fred gave you were supposed to to ameliorate the the coughing. Uh, it's reducing. Uh, mm. um, I've told Mercy to to prepare food. I think she's already almost done. Please, I beg you, when she gives you the food, please eat. Because you need energy from food to combat this thing, so that the drugs too will take from there and walk. <coughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I have to go now. I have work to do. I will come back later in the day. Eh? Please wait. There is something very important I want to discuss with you. 
What is it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how long I still have to live. Oh, no, 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 Mama. Please, I beg you in the name of God. I beg you, please. I don't want to hear anything negative now. You know you're the only one I have. You don't have my permission to go anywhere, so please don't say it. I have not finished. Mm, but first of all, I don't want you to be negative. You know, tomorrow is not as short. That is the truth. I, I, I want you to fulfill a wish for me before I go. Because so because you want me to, that's why you're, you're, you're sounding negative. <sighs> what wish is that? to get married in a month's time. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Mama, a month's time. What are you saying? It's because you're sick I'm not laughing at you. Because I don't understand what you're saying. Is that how they used to marry? Eh? Have I ever brought any girl to you that I'm engaged to that, that you say I should marry her in one month? Or I'll just go on the street now and start to look for any girl and come, you, you, I like you, you, you are my wife material, I want to marry you, and she will just agree like that. Even that girl that will agree like that, am I supposed to marry her? Bina, please, just fulfill this wish for me, please. I want to carry my grandchildren So before. I should do it in one month? <coughs> Okay, now stop taking too much. Please. I want to carry my grand. Mama, one month is not enough. I can't do it in one month. Okay, okay. Three months. Go on now. Three months. Let me carry my grandchildren okay, before I leave months. this. No, don't. Please, I beg you. Don't say that thing you want to say now. I've told you you don't have my permission to go anywhere. Oh, just okay, okay. Because this thing now that is your 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 overthinking is going to make it worse. This is your sickness. Three months, mm -hmm. married wife, you'll be happy. Ha! Wow. Because, because. It's, it's okay, it's okay. I'll say yes. Okay, yes, 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 yes Mama. Okay, I will marry. Dalu on them. Too lousy. X. So I am left with four women to choose from. Who will I marry now? Maybe Sandra, because I've known her the longest. Mm. Okay. Let me call her. Hey, Sandra, sweetheart, my baby, how are you doing? Text. Um, you know, I was actually busy thinking about you that 
I honestly haven't had time for my phone, you know. <sighs> Come on, Sandra. <laughs> How can you say a thing like that, like me? Hey, wait, 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 Sandra, wait, wait. Hey, she broke up with me. Ah. Hmm. Yeah. No, I have three more to go. So, taller. Hey, sweet tea, how you doing? CO to the LA, my baby. She caught the call. What's up with this girl? Okay. Hey Vivian, how you doing? Uh Vivian, so I was thinking, I was thinking I would like us to go out for lunch. To have like a proper meal and all that. You travel out of Nigeria. And you're not coming back. Uh, uh, what kind of joke is that? If you're not coming back, okay. So why is your number still going? Hey, Amaka, how are you doing? Uh, what do you mean who is calling you? We met like two weeks ago at the club. Can't you remember? I gave you my number and I took yours. Okay, that is it. I give up. I can't do this. Are you sure we shouldn't have just left you at the hospital? No. I am fine. <coughs> don't look like a problem. I am fine. You worry too much. Eh? Besides, the medication I'm receiving is, is helpful. I'm getting better, oh? This thing is too much. <laughs> Sorry, it's okay. <laughs> now, I will take you back to the hospital. <coughs> Obinda, have you found a wife? Mama, this thing you are asking is not easy. I have not yet found. Why? What are you waiting for? You know I have little or no oh, time no, no, left. Oh no 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 no, Mama, look, no, Mom, no 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 no. We already agreed no negative talk. So please, I don't, I don't, I don't want it. Besides, how am I supposed to find a wife? You're sounding as if this thing is easy. It's not that easy. Look, all the women that I, I, that are in my life, they said they don't want to marry me. That the relationship we had was never serious. So, how easy is it going to be? All the women in your life? How many women do you have in your life, Obina? You're, you're, you're deviating from the main talk now. That's not the point. <coughs> Obina. What do you mean you don't have any serious relationship? You have a lot of women in your life. Yet not even a single one you can call a wife or you can get married to at the age of 36. Mama, that's because I wasn't planning to get married anytime soon. 
So when exactly are you planning to get married? You have all these women in your life and not even a single serious relationship. Eh? Oh, Binda, don't you want me to carry my grandchildren Don't go there I again. You want, to, you want to go there again? <sighs> You're going there again? Yes. Yes what? What is yes? I think I know what I will do. <coughs> it's okay. It's <coughs> <coughs> My dear, oh God. how I miss those days, Beatrice. Did I know. The good old days. Exactly. <coughs> <coughs> like you have cough. Yes. Sorry. Thank you. How is that your beautiful daughter, Mabel? How is she doing? Uh, she is fine. Mabel is fine. Really? Yes. Oh my God. Um, my son actually wants to get married. So I thought to myself, my friend Beatrice has a very beautiful, well-mannered and responsible daughter. <laughs> so I said, let me talk with you and know if we can, you know, bring them together and work things out, okay? But that will be only if she doesn't have any serious relationship. Well, um, with the look of things now, I don't think she has any serious man in her life. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. So, can we make things work out? Is that what you want? Yes. I think we can. Wow, this is great. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love this. Mm. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. No, no more. Thank you very much. Let's try and see if we can make this work out. <sighs> You're so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, ma. Beatrice, yes. I really want to show you something. Please come with me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, I'm Obina. I am Mabel. So, my dear, how did you see her? Well, I'm not even going to try to lie. She's beautiful. And she looks like a nice girl. But, I'm not sure she's going to be my wife. I'm not sure I'm going to end up marrying her. I... <coughs> it's okay, sorry, sorry. Take it easy, sorry. Thank you. I understand. When I first met your father, I wasn't sure. I never really liked him. But when I got to know him, I stopped doubting. So, my dear, what you people need is getting to know each other the more, okay? The more you know each other, the more you begin to love each other. But please, don't forget your promise. You're getting married in three months' time. <coughs> I'm hurt, Mama, I'm hurt. That must be my son, right? Okay, we check. Good afternoon, Brother Ovina. Thank you. 
Hey, Mom. How are you? I'm getting better. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I thought you were supposed to go to the hospital today. I came so we can go together. No, no. It's not today. It's tomorrow. Oh. Okay. Besides, I told you not to worry yourself. I can manage. Eh? Mom. And Mercy is here to so help me, so... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. You know, I, I don't like you seeing me in that state. I just don't like it. Yeah, I know. Sorry. It's okay. So how is my daughter-in-law? Who is your daughter-in-law? Mabel, of course. Obina. Don't tell me you have not spoken with her since then. No, I've not. Oh, God. Why? Because I don't have a number. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. It's okay. Let me call her mother and, and get her number. And please, when I get the number, I want you to invite her for a date. Okay? A date? <coughs> Hello. Oh, Beatrice, how are you? Oh, <laughs> yes. I'm an entrepreneur. I love to cook. I love traveling. I love... Obina, are you okay? Yeah, I, I am. I just had some things going through my mind. Do you mind sharing? Mm, no, no. It's nothing serious. Just some boring stuff. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. So you were saying? Um, yes, I was telling you about myself. I love to cook. I love traveling. I... Okay, can you tell me about yourself? Mom, I can't do this thing anymore. I'm done. It's <coughs> <coughs> okay. What do you mean you can't do this anymore? I can't now, Mom. This whole thing is, 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 is too much for me to handle. Please, this is too much for me. How am I supposed to do it now? How am I supposed to pretend to love someone that I, I clearly don't even care about? Eh? Please, Mom, I'm, I'm done. I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm, I, please, please, please forgive me, but I can't. It's okay. No problem. <coughs> Since you don't want me to carry my grandchildren before I die. God forbid, man. God forbid. You're not going to die. God forbid. Please. Please don't say things like that, mom. Please, I beg you. You're God, God forbid. No, never. Never going to happen. You're not dying. If you want God to forbid, why don't you just do this for me? This is only one wish. Only one thing I ask of you. And you don't even care. You know how to do it, father. <coughs> oh, sorry, sorry, okay. It's okay, stop. Yeah, sorry, sorry, stop crying. No. It's okay, okay. It's okay. It's okay, stop crying. I'll marry her. I'll marry. I'll marry. I'll marry. It's okay. Say three three months. It's okay. I'll marry. It's okay. Please. Hmm. Wow. Lovely apartment. Thank you. <laughs> Please sit. Thank you. You're welcome. So, what can I offer you? Juice or wine? Ah, uh, water. Water is fine. Come on. Okay, juice. 
I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Ubina. I had a wonderful time. You're welcome. But ah, I think I have to go now. Really? So fast? Yes, it's, it's getting late. I have to go home. Okay. What do I get to see you again? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I want to see you again. I don't like you. Why? Did I do something wrong? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> of course, I would love to see you again. Okay. I was just joking. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. All, All right. right. Yeah. Yeah. That's mm. I'll drop you off. Okay. Wow. Thank you. I remember when Obina gained admission into secondary school and he was moving into the boarding house. He was crying. Are you serious? I'm telling you. <laughs> he was like, oh, I want to stay with my mommy. <laughs> oh my God. Sorry, ma. Sorry. <clears throat> you know, Obina is mommy's boy. <laughs> I will definitely tease him about this. Oh, really? I will. <laughs> um, Mabel. Ma. My son Obi naturally loves you. Do you feel the same way about him? Do you love my son? Ma, I like him. I like him a lot. Hopefully, something would come out of it. I oh. pray. <laughs> That's nice. Because I would like to have you as my daughter-in-law. Mm. And I want my grandchildren to resemble you because you're so beautiful. Oh, mommy. I want my grandchildren to be as beautiful as you are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ma. You're welcome. <coughs> Sorry, ma. Sorry. <coughs> have you taken anything for you? Obi, I spoke with Mabel yesterday. That young lady really loves you. You know what? What? I. <coughs> sorry, Mom, sorry. I think it is time for you to pop the question. It's just one month. Does it really matter? You'll be getting married in three months, remember? But even at that, it's still too early. We don't even have a relationship yet. We don't know each other yet. Eh? And how are you sure she will even accept the proposal? But you... Oh. <coughs> Mom, stop. Please stop thinking too much. <coughs> but you have not tried. Look, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Mom. I'm not ready. Obina, I am your mother and I know what is best for you. Marriage is a beautiful thing. You don't need to be afraid. My dear son, 
I know that one day you will look back and thank me for doing this. <laughs> Please stop. You see what I'm saying? You see why I say you should stop thinking about this thing? Anytime you think about this thing, you cough. Eh? Leave it. We've already had an agreement. I will handle it. Just don't think about it. You think about it, you cough. You think about it, you cough. Every time. Please, it's okay. Just leave it for me to handle. Okay. <laughs> Don't even say okay because now see. <laughs> Stop now. You're, you see? You see what I'm saying? Every time you think about this thing, you cough. Just leave it. Just leave it. I've, we've made our agreement. Let me handle the rest. Stop thinking. We're engaged. We're engaged. Are you serious? Yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. Oh my God. Congratulations. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy. This is amazing, mm. isn't it? Yes, exactly. But, uh, but you both just met. I hope you know that marriage is not a bed of roses. Yes, Mom. And I. Sure, you know what you're signing in for. They do. Oh, okay. It's okay. The major thing is that they love themselves. That is the most important. That is it. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so, so happy. happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> my baby will be getting married soon. Sorry. <laughs> I'm so 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 excited. <laughs> We have a wedding to plan. You can yes. see that again. We have to start right away because there's no time. Okay? Yeah. Oh my God. This is going to be an elaborate wedding. Mm -hmm. A wedding of who is who in the society. Yes. You know? Oh my God. A wedding of cream la cream. Ah. Okay, see. I'm going to invite um, my friends, mm -hmm. you know. Ladies of class and distinction, you know, my club members. Oh, yeah, Laura's classy ladies. That is you it. Know? <laughs> they will be here, they will be at the wedding. Oh, and then, um, yes, my church organization, mm -hmm. the women organization, you know, I'm their president. Mm. Yes. So they will be there in their full regalia, in their full uniform. <laughs> and then again, your father's friends, you know, your late father's friends. When your father was alive, oh my God. Mm. He can't spend money. If he goes for an occasion like this, hey, hey, they will know that Chifume has arrived. <laughs> he will spend money and spend money. So okay. they have to spend that money on you, you know? Yeah. He knows how to spend cash. <laughs> <laughs> then, my cool co wives, yes. And mm. uh, they won't be left out, okay. you know? <laughs> Anyway, you 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 you've said it all. You yeah. said it all. But uh, you know me. <laughs> you know Beatrice. I know you. <laughs> you know I'm a woman of class. Ah, my friends are forty. They are forty in number, and they are all coming. I don't know if you have friends. Is that not too much for a wedding? What is she talking about? Too much? Yes. Are you saying too much? No, 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 no. Do you know what it meant for someone's daughter to get married? <laughs> so you know. To get married, oh. my only daughter. Oh no, don't say that. <laughs> and then, uh, commissioner's <laughs> wives, they will be here too. Yes. Then, oh my God, I don't. Do In fact, it's going to be a wedding strictly on invitation. Oh, okay. I'll have bouncers everywhere. What, what so do you mean? Do you wait, excuse, what do you mean strictly on invitation? What do you mean? Is it that you, you there's not enough food and drink to eat? Oh, that say, let, let, to let people come. Oh, let, let, oh. It's going to be the wedding of the millennium. What no, do you no, mean? No, I don't want all these people that you know anybody that just come. Let in. anybody just. Mama, come. you guys, okay, you know what? Any number is fine, okay. Uh, it's just food, high, at most food and supervisions. Yes. Well, I I have to go now. Um, so soon? About the I don't understand. It's yes. okay. Yeah. It's okay. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, I know. Okay, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. What I have to go for is really important as well. And of course, I trust you guys now, ladies. You guys are. You guys can can plan this, right? And give me like feedback, mom. Yes. This wedding is your wedding now, Once isn't I'm it? There, you are there. <laughs> exactly. So I'm going now. 
Mm. Read it to me when right. when you're done. Mm. All right, mom. Oh, <laughs> oh my son. <laughs> Yes, uh, yeah. I'll see you. All right. Take care of yourself. You didn't pack me like this, though. I didn't. You did uh, not. Okay. Yes, oh, but, but he, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> he packed me on her behalf. It's okay. Yeah. So let's talk. I'm going to kiss your wife. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys Bye. carry on, eh? <laughs> let's plan. Because okay. Have to start now. So, so what about Bye. the? Let's talk about the souvenirs. What do you think? Oh, souvenirs. Yes. <laughs> I am so proud of you. And I know that if your father were to be alive, he will equally be proud of you. I'm glad you're happy now, Mom. I'm glad I got to fulfill your wish. Yes, <laughs> but one thing is still remaining. I am waiting the arrival of my grandchildren, and I know it will happen very soon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, you should sit, please, okay? Because of your health, you shouldn't be standing for too long. And um, talking about your health, how do you feel? I asked Uncle Fred about it and he said, you're responding to treatment. Yes, I am responding to treatment. All thanks to God. Yeah, thanks to God. You know, I can't just wait for all this to be over. For you to be okay completely because the thought of losing you i can stand it you will not lose me don't you know your mother again i am a warrior okay <laughs> um i prepared something delicious you will like it <laughs> what of mercy oh she went to the market okay yes okay so <laughs> let me get it for you okay okay <laughs> sorry it's okay <laughs> oh my no, what is it? I'm here. Mabel! Uh, why are you shouting? What did you do to my clothes that were in my wardrobe? Oh, <laughs> that. I put some of them away and placed my own there. Why? Why would you take out my clothes from my room and put yours? Point of correction. It is now our room. Obina, we're married, remember? Besides, you no longer use them. That's why I put my own there. What's the big deal? You know, I'm getting tired of you trying to take everything from me. You take away my room, my house, my space, my privacy, my everything! Excuse me, what do you mean by that? Why do you keep talking about privacy all the time? I am your wife! <sighs> Obina, come back here, I'm not done talking to you! Oh my <laughs> god! Tell me our plan! What? My dear, it really worked out. Hi! Especially now that our children are married. Not so happy. Not just married. Eh? Very soon. We will be expecting our grandchildren. Exactly. Oh my God, I, I can't, can't wait to be I can't wait. I can't wait to carry my grandchild. Oh, oh, oh. And finally, <laughs> our relationship has been cemented. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Best. Oh my God. Best friends ever. Oh God. <laughs> you, know, you know what? Yes, this calls for a celebration. And I, I don't know what you're still waiting for. Please go get a drink, Les. No, 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 no. I'm going upstairs to get my khaki. We are going out there to a cozy environment to celebrate, you why, know? Why do you want us to drive? Don't you have drinks at all? 
I want where we hear loud music. No, <laughs> where we'll be dancing. Oh, yeah. Let me get my car key. Get the car keys, please. I can't wait. <laughs> hey, stop, stop, please. Drink your cough. I don't understand this. Your cough. I'm fine, no. Hey, hey, please, so get your car keys. Where are you going to? I'm asking you. I'm going to be with my friends. Your friends? So your friends are more important than me, right? Mama, why do you like to nag and complain? Are you kidding me? Yes! You nag a lot! And it's annoying! So what, am I supposed to stay with you morning, afternoon and night? Just because I'm married to you now, I must give up my whole life! Obina, is, is it that you don't like the fact that we are married? Are you regretting this? I'm getting late, please. Welcome. Thank you. I've been waiting for you. Sorry, there was a lot of traffic on the road. Okay. Dinner is set. Let's go and eat. Oh. I'm not hungry. I already had something to eat. So maybe tomorrow I'll do that. So what will happen to the food? I took my precious time to prepare. Maybe I'm not tonight, please. No, then what night? Obi, I am sick and tired of all this. Is it a crime for husband and wife to eat together? Is it? You know what? I am tired also of you always nagging. You're always complaining. No, why won't I complain when you don't do what a husband is supposed to do? Why won't I complain? Mabel, I am not hungry. I am not eating. Please leave me alone. Good night. <laughs> Obina, my food will not waste. Obina, you will eat this food. I will not. Obina. I will. Come on. Please bring my food. <clears throat> Maybe I'll, I'm talking to you. There's no food in the kitchen. Maybe. What? Since you like to eat with your friends, why not go to their house and tell them to make something for you to eat? Really? Yes, really. Where are you going to? I'm going to my friend's place as you suggested. So you're really going to your friend's place? Obi, I said that so that you could realize I was angry with you. I said that so that you could apologize and tell me, baby, I'm sorry. I know I hurt you. I'm sorry, I'm going to change. Baby, why are you so romantic? I'm not romantic. You started again. No, you don't want to start again with your wickedness. You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere, baby. So will you make me feel now? 
and do you apologize to me? Ah, baby! Can we stop fighting? That will not change anything. I need you to change in your actions. Yes, you say you love me. But I need you to show it. I don't want you to only be my husband. I also want you to be my best friend. Is that too much to ask? My darling, how's the marriage been so far? Hmm? Well, I'm not so good. What do you mean not so good? Mom, Ubin and I always argue and we It is normal. Very normal. Listen, there's no perfect marriage out there. Yes, it's, you are bound to have quarrels, arguments and what not, you know. It, it's inevitable. But what you have to do is, any time you wrong your partner, tell him sorry. There's no perfect couple. No. My marriage is not a bed of roses. I hope you know that. Yes. But the only good thing you have to do is just learn when to say sorry. And everything will be fine again. Okay? Please, I want you to learn from me, please. Take things easy. Listen to him, his instructions, obey him. And with that, you people won't be having arguments and quarrel all the time. Hmm? You both will be fine again. <gasps> okay? Okay, mom. Please. Okay. I've heard you. You know you're my only baby, so I won't want you to be having problems with your husband. Okay, Mama. <laughs> Promise me that. Baby, I was thinking. Honey, can you Babe? keep the phone down? I'm talking to you. I'm listening. Doesn't look like it. Uh, baby, I was thinking maybe we should spend more time together like go on vacation or something more time together yes i will not spend more time right now yes i mean like quality time together you know have fun hey guy alpha oh yeah 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 okay oh yeah okay who me? I have it actually. I should bring it. Okay, are you at your place now? Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming with it then. All right, yeah, I got you. Hi, hey. 
be. Hey. Well done. Baby, you know my car is at the mechanic. I want to quickly go to the supermarket to get something. Can you, you please take me there? You can use mine, I don't mind. No, I want you to take me there. I don't understand. You said your car is at the mechanic and I said you can use mine. Do I have to take you there? Is it a must? Is it bad for you to take me there? Don't worry about this thing you're doing. When you come back, you continue. But baby... Baby, we barely spend time together. Even when you're in the house, you're always with your phone. You're always on your own space. Why, why can't you have time for me? It's fine. Don't bother. I'll just go. It's okay. What? Let's go. I'll take you. You you take me? I'll take you. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you. I'll catch up with you. Let me drop this thing. Okay. I'll be waiting for you outside. Thank you, baby. Mm. Maybe I was wrong with you. Obina, I saw the way you were looking at that girl's chest. So you're a womanizer. Ha, that means you've been cheating on me. What nonsense are you saying? What lady are you even talking about? The girl who just passed at the supermarket. I saw the way you were looking at her. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. I saw you. You know, maybe this is the reason why I don't like going out with you. You always come up with things in your head. <laughs> I was not blind. I saw you. Okay. What did you see? I saw the way you were looking at her like you want to sleep with her. Obina, see, I can take everything from you. I can take every baggage. But you see... Cheating on me is what I will not take. I will not take it at all. Maybe you're just crazy. Because I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't have any single idea of it. Just talking and talking. Clapping and clapping. I should have just let you drive yourself. Mom, I don't think I can continue with this marriage. I am tired. Mabel, j just calm down, okay? What is the problem? It's Obina. He's making things difficult for us. He doesn't have my time. He would rather hang out with his friends and have fun than hang out with me. Even when he's in the house, he's always on his phone or doing something else. Okay, the other day we went to the supermarket. He was busy admiring another woman, looking at her chest with, with so much lust in his eyes. <coughs> sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Are you sure? Yes, ma. I am very sure. It's okay. I want you to just calm down, okay? I'll speak with him. Okay, oh. ma. Please do. I don't think I can take this anymore. I will. Thank you, ma. Cheer up. Mommy said you wanted to see me. Yes. And you said it's urgent. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Um... Actually, I called you concerning your wife. My wife? Yes. She was there complaining about you. She complained you don't have time for her. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. You don't give her attention. You don't treat her right. And that the other day, both of you were at the mall and you were busy looking at another woman lustfully. She told you that? Yes. Mom, she's just making things up in her head. She's not making things up. Treat her right. Give her attention. Okay? 
Huh? You said something about complaining the last time. Uh, uh, maybe she's just using that to get your attention. Huh? Please give her attention. Treat her right. Okay? She's complaining bitterly about you. But that's the only thing she's good at, complaining. Always complaining, nagging, nagging, nagging. And I'm getting tired of it. That is not nagging. I'm only saying a woman that is in love. She's in love with you. Treat her right. Okay? Make peace with your wife. Just that. Nothing more. What did you tell my mother? Oh, <laughs> that. <laughs> Why would you take our marital issues to her? Something that has to do with the both of us. Why won't I take our marital issues to my mother-in-law? Is she not your mother? What's the big deal? Listen, Obi. I will continue to tell your mother about what is happening in this house until you change. Mabel, you better stop. Why? Because it's going to worsen her condition. Don't you get it? Condition? What condition? My mother is terminally ill. She has cirrhosis of the liver and tuberculosis at stage two. What? When did you find out? A few weeks before we met. And you didn't bother to tell me? No, that's because I, I didn't want to believe it. I didn't want to accept that I was going to lose my mother. So I didn't want to tell anyone. I still don't believe it. Because I believe she's not going to die. Hey. I'm sorry, B. I'm so sorry to hear that. I don't want to lose her. No, you're not going to lose her. She's all I've got. Hey, baby, don't worry. She's not the only one in your life right now. I am here for you. I am your wife and I am going to stand by you no matter what. It's okay, baby. Stop. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Beatrice. Okay, run now, but you to hope all is well. Ubina told me about your condition. What condition? <coughs> Flora, why didn't you tell us all this? Why? Huh? We are family now. I don't understand. Oh, is it about the cough? <coughs> don't worry, I'll be fine. Okay, I'm truly sorry I didn't tell you. I never wanted to tell anybody because I don't want pity. I don't want it when people look at me with so much sympathy, just the way both of you are looking at me now. But... <laughs> Sorry. I know I didn't do well by not telling both of you. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's all right. I I understand. I understand that everyone has a way of dealing with their issues. Okay? I'm so Thank sorry you. about this. We understand. But what did the doctor say? Are you getting better? Oh yes, my dear. I am getting better. 
Amen. And I'm believing God that by his miracles, I'll be totally healed. Amen. It is well, Flora. Yeah. Thank you. You will be fine. Thank you. Mm. Uh. Baby, you're ready for work? Yes, I'm ready. Have you forgotten today is a special day? What is special about today? I mean, it's Friday, yeah, but it's not a public holiday, is it? Obina, you're playing a prank on me, right? I'm playing a prank. What's special about today? I mean, I should be the one asking you because I don't understand what you're saying. And you haven't shared with me here. What, 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 what's special about today? <sighs> like, um, maybe I don't have time or I'm already running late. Okay, I can't do this right now. I'll see you when I come back. No nothing. What are you drinking to? Baby? Mabel? Today is my birthday. I remember saying it several times. But you still forgot. Mabel, I'm sorry. You know, I was so excited about this birthday. Because this is my first birthday as a married woman. But I must say, this is the worst birthday in my entire life. <laughs> Not even a happy birthday from my husband. Nothing. I'm so sorry. Were you with another woman? Oh, no, come on, calm down. Oh, Sammy, were you with another woman? No. Okay, no. I wasn't with another woman. I hung out with friends after work. I had a couple of drinks. That was all. Okay. I'm sorry I forgot your birthday. I'm so sorry. I love you. Shut up! Shut up! You don't love someone and don't show it. That's not love. Have you ever wondered why I agreed to get married to you within a short period of time? Did you ever wonder? That's because I have never been lucky in love. All my life I have loved. I never loved back. I have been hurt so many times by men. Men that I genuinely gave my heart to. 
And when I thought that I found you, when I thought that I found the one, <laughs> oh, I doubt that. Jesus Christ. Hey, babe. Good morning. Good morning. What's going on here? I made us breakfast. <sighs> you made breakfast? <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is the first time. Yeah. We barely even eat together. Middle. Yeah. I know I've not been the best husband. And I'm sorry for that. At least time I mean it. Okay, I want to change. Because I want our marriage to work. I want us to work. <sighs> I hope you will stand by your words this time. I promise. With everything I hold sacred. So yeah. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just put in this. She's just going and wake up again. Am, am I dreaming? No, I promise it's real. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think? Ah, uh, well, looks good. Just call me. But wait, let me taste it first. Oh. Let me taste it. Hold on. But the look is good. Though. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I bet you didn't know I could cook. Mm. Mm. But I cook better than you. It's good. <laughs> it's okay. good. Mm, wow. This wow. Uh, does not beat everything you've ever cooked. For no, me. no, no, no. Don't go there. <laughs> okay, I'll just give it uh -uh. to you. <laughs> Welcome, baby. Hey, love. How are you? I'm good. Mm. What are you watching? <laughs> I'm watching my favorite telenovela. Uh. Mm. Honey, you should watch it with me. It's very interesting. Nah, I don't watch telenovelas. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? Mm? I'm going to watch it with you. Are you serious? Yes. Are you serious? Yes, I said yes. Hopefully I get to enjoy it like you are. Of course, baby. You're going to enjoy it. <laughs> yes. Take baby. See this lady, she's not a good person. Mm. Mm. What did she do? She's cheating on her husband. Mm? She's cheating on her husband? Yes. So this guy's not her husband? No, 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 no. Take. Wow. Just my just came in. Interesting. Take baby.
Hey baby. So I was thinking, I was thinking we should go out for dinner today. Yes. It's been a while since we went out together and I would love us to go out again. I am so happy that both of you are now living happily. As you know, marriage is never a bed of roses. There will be disagreements, arguments, misunderstandings, and so on. But the beauty of marriage is loving yourselves, despite all this. So... <coughs> Sorry, Mom. <coughs> Sorry, Mom. Mm -hmm. When am I expecting my grandchildren? <laughs> <laughs> Very soon, Mom. Soon, Mom. Wow, <laughs> that's good. Oh my God, I can't wait. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> good morning, Uncle Fred. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. I hope madam is around. Yes, sir, she's around. Let me go call her for okay, you. Okay, tell her I'm around, then. Okay, sir. Let's see. Ma. Who is that? Uncle Fred is here. Oh! Good morning. Fred, good morning. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> and you? I'm fine. You're I'm welcome. Fine. Thank you. So, how is uh, my friend, Sarah, and uh, oh. the family? I hope they're all doing good. well. Oh. At least they are better than I am. Oh, thank God. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, fine. Good. I came to discuss something very important with you. What is that? I was at a mall yesterday and uh, I met your son. Okay. The young man is psychologically devastated. He kept on asking me questions about your health. I could see the trauma he's passing through. You know, you are all he has got, despite the fact that he's married. Honestly, my conscience is pricked by the fact that we lied to that young man. Nobody deserves that kind of emotional punishment. Let's tell him the truth. No, no, I can't. Why? I am afraid if I tell him the truth, he will divorce the wife. And I will go back to the same issue. We know their marriage is not yet good. So I cannot tell him. I know what I'm doing is wrong. But then, at the end of the whole thing, he will realize it is for his own good. What I'm doing is for his own good. It's for his best interest. Well, you are his mother, and I, I don't think I'm in a position to dispute your stand. Thank you so much, Dr. Fred. I really appreciate it. Thanks a lot for your support, because without you, we wouldn't have achieved this. Thank you. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome, ma. But whatever I did was for the sake of my friend, your late husband. I know that if he were to be alive, he would also have wished his son to be married. Exactly. At that age. Hmm? Exactly. Oh. I have to go. Ah, no, Dr. Fred. <laughs> Please, what do I offer you? I need to get something don't for you. There. Don't, don't bother. I'm fine. I have a lot of work today in the office. No, 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 no. You don't have to say this now. This is your house. Madam, I said I am fine. I'm just okay. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm fine. Who am I seeing? Ugo. Flora. Is this you? Yes. Oh my god. Hey. Oh my god. I'm not looking bad. It's been a while I saw you last. Yes, How are you? Good, you're right. 
Since my family moved away from the estates over 15 years ago. Exactly. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. So how is the family? Well, uh, we're all fine. Oh, uh, I can see that. My four kids are married with kids already. You don't say. Yeah. Wow, this is wonderful. I am so happy for you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, how is Obina, your son? Oh, Obina is fine. Um, I'm sure by now you, you should be married with kids. <laughs> Not really. Not yet. Not yet? From what I can remember, your son Obina and my son are mates. And my son is already married with kids. I'm surprised why Obina is still single. Oh, really? <laughs> That's nice. Anyway, I hope you become a grandma soon, just like me. Exactly. I tell you, it's a very wonderful experience. I would love to have that experience. That's okay. I came to get some things for myself. Take care of yourself. <laughs> all right, dear. My regards to your son. Okay, dear. My regards to your family, too. It's all right. Bye. 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 Hello? Ubina. How are you doing? Thank God. Please, there is something I want to discuss with you. Yes, it's urgent. Okay. I want you to come straight from the office to the house. It's okay. Take care. What did you just say to me now, Mom? I am sorry. I lied to you. Dr. Fred, please, just tell him I have terminal disease that will lead to my death. I know this will help him to get married and settle down. Madam Flora, what you're asking me to do is against medical practice. I know. But you're not doing this just for me, but for the sake of your late friend, Udbina's father. Please. You know, if he were to be alive, he would have loved to see Obina married with kids. Please. Please, Fred. Please. This whole thing is getting out of hand. It's draining the young man psychologically. I know. 
It hurts me to see him in that condition too. But I can't help it. I just have to do what I'm doing if I really want to carry my grandchildren. How long do you intend this to go on? Until he fulfills my heart desire. I can't believe you lie of having an illness of such magnitude. Such mortality rate. Do you have any any idea the hell you put me through? Hi. Good afternoon, Auntie Mabel. Good afternoon. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, ma. Mm -hmm. How is mom? She's upstairs okay. with Uncle Obina. <sighs> Obina is here? Yes, ma. Okay. Just thinking that you were going to die? I'm truly sorry. Mom, I can't believe you would go this far just because you wanted me to get married. I am sorry, like I said. I was scared. So, so scared that I will never carry my grandchildren. I was scared that you are never going to get married and your father's lineage will go into extinction. I am tired of my friends bragging about their grandchildren when my only son is not even married. Just listen to yourself, mom. Just listen to how selfish and self-centered you are and sound. You made me marry someone I did not love just because you wanted me to, to, to carry out a, to fulfill a, a fictitious and false wish of marrying someone I did not love in three months. Three months! Just because you wanted to have a baby. I can't believe I was such a fool. God, I was a fool to have believed those lies. I am truly sorry. Sir. Oh, please don't tell me that, Mom. I know you never loved her. But don't you love her now? Yes, I love her. But did you ever get to think that what if I never got to love her. I would have been unhappy in my marriage. Please calm down. Oh, don't tell me to calm down, Mom. Hey, baby. Baby. I'm home. Baby! Babe? Baby? Mom, please, I did not come here to see you. Where is my wife? I don't, I don't understand. What is going on? Eh? I went home and I did not see Mabel. 
her clothes, her everything is gone from the house. Then I went to her mom's house to see if I could get her. No one opened the door for me. This is serious. Yes, it is serious, mom. It is very serious. I don't know where my wife is. It is that serious. I don't even know if she's safe. I tried to call her number. It rang, but she didn't pick. I called her friends as well. They also didn't pick. Have you called her mother? Mom, I've called her mother. She too, she didn't pick. No one is picking. Okay, it's okay. Just calm down, okay? Let me call the mother. Please sit. Mama, this is not a sitting mat issue. Look, I cannot see my wife. I can't find my wife. It's okay, let me call her mother. Ma, I've searched everywhere for her. I can't find her. I am worried. She traveled. What? Travel to where? To Abuja. To eat solve the things you did to her. Why, 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 why would she just travel like that without saying a word now? Even if she's angry with me or something, she should at least say a word, say something so that Hoping I don't know. that she overheard your conversation with your mother. I am so disappointed. So you lied to everyone about your illness. You lied. It, not just that she heard what you said. She heard vividly you telling your mother that you never loved her. That you married her because you want to fulfill your mother's wish. This is not nice. My daughter is so heartbroken. Yes, ma. It is true. It is true that at first... I didn't love her. But that doesn't mean I don't love her now. Ah, I love Mabel with every bit of my heart. I love her so much. I am so disappointed. Beatrice, I know I have wronged you. I am truly sorry. I was just a desperate woman who wants to carry her grandchildren while she is alive. And the only way for me to achieve that is by doing what I did. Because of my son's stubbornness. Please, I am sorry. Speak to your daughter. Let her come back to where she belongs. Please. Yes, ma, please. I need to see her. I need to explain things to her myself. Well, I will try to convince her. But I can't guarantee you that she's coming back anytime soon. What you did to her was wrong. You don't treat people like that. Your, your actions to her was so heartbreaking, so nice. You made her look like a fool. When her only crime was to love you. Sorry, Ma. Kubina, your actions were so harsh to her. You don't play with people's emotions just like the way you did to my daughter. It's not fair. Flora, I told you my friend. Beatrice, please, I am truly sorry, like I said. Why did you tell me? Why did you tell me what is going on? Why did you let me know? We are now family. Go speak to your daughter. Oh, please. It was going to be another boring phase Where I play pretend When I'm not in love to put up with everything forever. forever And I'll play pretend When I'm not in love, not in love. But now I see things a little bit clearly I think I'm falling, 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 falling. I think I'm falling, 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 falling I try to hold it But it's a little bit clear now I think I'm falling I try to hold it, 
falling, falling. I realize it doesn't take too much to love. And I won't play pretend. Cause I'm in love. Cause I'm in love. And I'll put up with loving you forever. And I won't play pretend. Cause I'm in love. But now I see things a little bit clearly. I think I'm falling, 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 falling. I think I'm falling, 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 falling. I try to hold it, but it's a little bit clear now. I think I'm falling, 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 falling. I think I'm falling, 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 falling. But now I see things a little bit clearly. I think I'm falling. Why are you looking like this? Do you want to kill yourself? Obi. How much been a month? A whole month since she left. And I've not, I've not gotten a word from her. Not even a call. Am I supposed to be happy? She just left like I like I don't mean anything to her. She just left. I am truly sorry. I know I am the cause of all the things that happened. I'm sorry. Mama, I love her. I love her so much. I don't want to lose her. My dear, you will not lose her. I know we have wronged her a lot. But let me tell you something. If she is truly your wife, if she truly loves you, if she is actually your wife, your soulmate, she will certainly come back to you. When? When, Mom? When? When? Because it clearly doesn't look like she loves me. She doesn't love me. It's okay. It's true. It's true that I did not love you when we first met. I only said it so, so that my mom would be happy. It was her wish. And even after we got married, I still didn't love you. But deep down in our marriage, I felt helplessly in love with you. I felt helplessly in love with this, this amazing person that I see. Oh, please. You don't love me. And I am not going to be fooled again for you. Well, baby, it's my truth. Okay. I'm in love with you. I love watching telenovelas with you on this couch. I love how 
sexy you look when you watch that show. Even if I don't care about the show itself. I love giving you leg rubs at night, baby. You mm -hmm. love me. I don't believe you. I love going shopping with you. I will stay at the back and just watch you guys walk. I see how happy you are when, when I'm with you by your side. I love how we eat together. How you will feel me. Maybe the fact that you would wait for me to come back before you eat, just so we can eat together. You don't love me. Oh, I do. Maybe I love how we cuddle every night. The feel of your skin. How warm you make me feel when it's cold. And maybe it's been really cold. Really cold without you. I couldn't get myself to sleep on the bed. That's why I'm, I was here being here. You know, you know, just enough, enough. Stop. Are you okay, baby? Baby! Baby! What? No, 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 no. No! Wait, do you know I'm beginning to notice that this baby looks more like me? That's not true. Who looks like you? Look at this beautiful baby. Look at her eyes. Eh? She looks exactly like mine. You, you are saying it. Is I'm gonna... Who is that? Look at her sharp eyes. Okay, look at the pointed nose. Look at sharp. Do you have sharp eyes? You hey, have look at her eyes. Okay, well, don't even say that. She looks like me. Look at her. See now, see her chin. Very Wait, beautiful. Obi, and Obi. Pointed, huh? She has a pointed nose like me. Look at it. But my nose is more pointed. See this flat nose. You want to talk? Obi, <laughs> Huh? Doesn't this baby look like me? I don't know. Oh. What do you mean by I don't know? Isn't it know. obvious? It's <laughs> obvious that this baby looks like me. He knows it, but he doesn't want to tell you. Eh, because he doesn't want to get you angry. Okay. <laughs> the baby is like eh? The baby looks like this of you. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, she don't say she looks just tell, tell her that the baby uh, looks like me. Look at my little daughter now. Eh? Yeah, so <laughs> young man. Huh? More beautiful than your daughter. It's okay. It's less about I give you baby. Is the the gospel truth is that the baby looks like me. <laughs> Please give me my grandchild. No, I'm not going to carry you. It's okay. Don't carry you. Don't cry. Don't carry you. You have to be here for a moment. Eh? Ella, she's used to me already. Oh, she's oh, my grandchild. Mommy. Do you know I'm so happy? Hmm. That finally I have become a grandmother. Oh hey. God, I thank you. Yeah. This is really wonderful. I'm so happy that we are now grandmothers. Exactly. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy. Hmm. My dear, I would have been so sad if after all these my plans and I finally have a grandchild. Well, my son didn't find happiness. But my greatest joy and happiness is that he found happiness. She still time down. Please leave. Don't stop holding my daughter. Go ahead. I can go ahead. Holding my daughter like that. This baby is too young, go. I wish you are telling her to go. My waist. She's strong. The waist is not strong. I need grandchildren. Plenty of them. But now 